In this session, we are discussing Python dictionary. So, what is the Python dictionary and how to define that one? What are the different methods we can apply on this Python dictionary? We will be discussing that one into details. In Python, dictionary is an unordered collection of items while other compound data types have only value as an element, a dictionary has a key value pair. So, that is a very important one. So, we had a discussion on list, we had a discussion on tuple, we had a discussion on set. There you saw that we are having multiple different elements are there. They may be or may not be of the same or different data types, but here we are finding this dictionary is quite different from those, uh, those data types because here in case of dictionary, we are having the key value pair. Dictionaries are optimized to retrieve values when the key is known. So, if you know the key, if you pass the key as uh, argument, we can retrieve the respective value against the key which has been stored, pre-stored onto the dictionary object. So, here we have uh, considered one, there is a my dict one. So, there is a variable which is containing one colon red. So, what is one? That is a key. What is the value? That is a red. Is red is a string? Yes. So, it should be enclosed within single quotes and here this key value pair must be separated by this colon, then comma. So, they, they, we are having the second member, we are having the third member and so on and each and every member is nothing but key value pair. So, we are having this my dict 2. So, here we are having this name tridip. So, there is a one member here. So, comma h colon 35 address colon Kolkata in this way the things have got represented. So, here we are having the different methods which you can carry out on a dictionary. So, the first one is the clear, remove all items from the dictionary, copy, return a shallow copy of the dictionary, then form keys. So, sequence within third bracket we are putting this comma b. So, return a new dictionary with keys from the sequence and the value equal to b default to none here. So, in this way you are also having the get key within the third bracket we are having d here. So, return the value of key if the key does not exist uh, exit then return d and defaults is to none. So, in this way we are getting this one. So, let us consider this one as exist. So, now this is my items. So, return a new view of the dictionary's items that is the key and value. So, these are the different methods are there and the respective descriptions we have given you can go through them because actually we are having a plan to show you all these methods uh, which are very much useful in our uh, in our python programming in a live demonstration there. So, let us go for the demonstration for the better understanding that how these methods can be used on our dictionary objects and what are the results we are getting. So, here is the demonstration for you. Python dictionary is an unordered collection of items and while other compound data types have only the value as an element, but in case of dictionary will be having our key value pair and dictionaries are optimized to retrieve values when the key is known to us. So, let us go for one creation of a, of a dictionary here. So, new dict is equal to one colon hello. So, here one is the key and hello is the value and you see colon is the respective separator between the key and value. So, this key and value pairs will be separated by this comma and the whole thing must be enclosed within curly braces as if it is a set. In case of set also we had the all the set elements are to be enclosed within curly braces, but here in case of set we only have the elements there, members there, but here in the case of dictionary we will be having our key value pair. So, print new dict. So, now let me go for the execution. You can find that we are just printing this uh, this particular uh, dictionary and then print new dict. So, this outcome has come print new dict 1. So, we are given 1 means the key value. So, here we are having this key. So, the respective value will be hello. So, hello has got printed. If you go for this get and if you give 2, then 2 is the key here and the value will be high. So, high has got printed. So, now you might be asking me what is the difference between this new dict 1 and new dict uh, get 2. Here the difference is that if you give some, if you give some uh, illegal or say non-existent uh, key here, so 10 is not there present. So if I go on execution, then I can find that key error is coming. So here, if the key, the value, whatever we are giving here, 
the respective key is not existent here we are getting one error that is a key error so key error 10 so that is the issue but in this case if I put one invalid key here so here you can find that it is returning none it is returning none so that is the basic difference between these two respective statements that is print new dict one and print new dict dot get so if we give both the cases the valid key in that case I'm getting this hello and hi as I explained updating value so for the new dict one I'm putting hey here so now you see for this one for this against this key the value has got updated from hello to hey so now we are having this adding values so uh, that is a new dict 4 is equal to namaste now if here you can find that here this 4 is not existing here so a new uh, respective key value pair will be inserted in this dictionary now creating a new dictionary so let me let me go for the execution so print squares the respective values are getting printed so now remove a particular item so we are going for squares dot pop 4 so as the key is given directly 4 so that means 4 colon 16 this particular um, this key value pair will be deleted and that's why it is returning the value at first so 16 and you can find that that 4 colon 16 that key value pair is missing now remove an arbitrary item you can go for this pop item so in this case a pop item one arbitrary item will be deleted so here you can find that 5 comma 25 it has got deleted so the respective key value pair is not is now not existing delete a particular item you can go for this del and then square so one so this particular key value pair will be deleted so we are remaining with this 2 colon 4 and 3 colon 9 here here we have defined one uh, new dictionary there is a squares so squares have got printed now we are going for this squares dot clear so it removes all the all the key value pairs so remove all the items and now if we print this square it is printing the empty dictionary so delete the dictionary itself in that case if I in that case we will be going for del squares but after that if I want to print squares as the squares have got deleted so it will produce one error that is the name error so there is a name error so name squares is not defined because we have used this del here so the full declaration of the dictionary itself will get deleted next one creating a new dictionary using comprehension so we can find that x in range 6 that means x will be ranging from 0 to 5 because 6 will be exclusive so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so these are the six values for x so we are creating a dictionary that is x colon x will be the key and the value will be x star x so now in this case if I print the squares I'm getting this 0 0 square and then 1 1 square and then 2 is the key and the value will be 2 square 3 is the key the value will be 3 square in this way up to 5 colon 25 so we are getting this so dictionary membership test so how to uh, do the membership test here so here in this case we discuss only the dictionary using comprehension now it is a, a here you'll be going for the testing of the membership so one uh, uh, dictionary has got uh, defined so name of the dictionary is squares so now one in squares. so one this key is present so one in squares will be giving us true because we are testing the membership of this one as a key in this dictionary two not in square you see the two is not there so two not in square will produce the outcome true here but print 49 in square so 49 as a key is not present here so that's why it is returning the value it is returning the boolean value that is a false so here whatever you are passing whatever you are mentioning value here they are the key they are the key we are not considering this 49 which is present as a value as a key 49 is absent so print 49 in squares it is returning the value false now we are going for this iterating through a dictionary so squares 1 colon 1 3 colon 9 5 colon 25 we have defined this one so for i in squares so print squares i so you can go for the execution you can find that we are printing this 1 9 25 49 so they are all the values so here this i has been treated as a key so respective value has been popped out and the has been retrieved and they have got printed in this iteration so we are defining another that is a uh, there is a square is 
one dictionary here we're going for the len so these are the inbuilt functions in a dictionary so len will print the length of the dictionary that means the number of key value pairs so here we are printing this one as five because one two three four five key value pairs are there print shorted squares so you can find that the respective key values they have become shorted they have become shorted here so in this way we are having some inbuilt uh, methods are there inbuilt functions are there or built-in functions are there in our dictionary that can be applied on the dictionary objects so in this discussion we have, have a detailed discussion that how to create a disc, uh, dictionary and what are the different permitted and not permitted operations that we can carry out on a dictionary i think now the conception is getting clear to you thanks for watching this video